Hey everyone, so I want to show you, I'm cooking homemade um, <coughs> vegetable beef soup, and that's my onions, garlic, parsley, and basil, and um, I chopped it in my little chopper, and I put it in some olive oil, and I'm browning it, and then I'll add the hamburger meat. Okay, I'll show you the rest in a bit. So I want to show you, I got 80% ground, well, ground chuck, not beef, for $5. Um, and I, I thought that was pretty good, so there probably won't be a lot of grease in this. All right. No part of the pan's dark, y'all. The lighting in here is just not good. But uh, I added the ground chuck to the onions, garlic, basil, and parsley. And uh, I'll show you what I add next. So I'm sorry about the lighting, but, you know, hey, until I can do better. Anyway, now I'm going to add, I did put a little bit of paprika in it just to give it some spice. I'm going to add onion and garlic powder. Of course, I have to add Mrs. Dash. And I'm going to add season all, season salt, season all. Um, I did, as you see, had to drain some of the grease out. And then I add tomato juice. Um, a lot of people will use a can of tomatoes and, um, you know, the beef broth. But, um, and I might throw some bouillon in it, but really I've always just used tomato juice. All right, uh, I'm going to throw this all in there. I'll show you later. Okay, so the tomato juice is added. Um, I looked, I didn't have any beef broth. I probably should have bought some. I'm sure it would be better with a little beef broth in it, y'all. Um, but anyhow, I put like five small potatoes in it and I'm putting some mixed vegetables uh, there we go I think that's all of that uh, and I might add a can of something I don't know or I could have another can of mixed vegetables um, that might be enough I don't I mean I'm not feeding no army right and I have noodles. Um, yeah, it looks like it'll be sufficient. Unless I find something that I really want to put in there. But, um, yeah. The only difference is, um, I, I would definitely probably add a little beef broth to this. I did add some water to the tomato pe uh, juice. <laughs> now, some people just use, like, crushed tomatoes and beef broth. You know, uh, you can make it either way. They're both good. And with this, you can use corned beef hash. Um, I used to, when I lived in Georgia, it was really cheap to use corned beef hash back then in the can. So I used to make my vegetable beef soup with uh, corned beef hash. <clears throat> um, I don't think it's that cheap anymore. Um, so, whatever y'all like. Alright, well, I'm going to cook the noodles on the side, because I don't want the noodles sopping up the juice, <coughs> and pour it over the noodles. <clears throat> and this way it won't, you know what I mean. Alright, well, I'll show y'all when it's done. Okay, so here it is done. Got the noodles in it. Which I put the noodles separate because I didn't want to sop up all the juice. Um, and I'm going to put some grated cheddar cheese on it. And drop me a few rich crackers. And uh, I tasted it, y'all. It is really good. Alright, take care.